In this JavaScript coding exercise, we're going to walk through how we can create a two capital function. And so what I'm essentially wanting to do is if I have a string and I'll create a variable here and let's just call this short string. And if it says hi there, you can see we have the H capitalized, but the T isn't. What I want to do is build out a function that will go through and it will capitalize every word that we have here. So if I had one called long string and this said the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, just like this, then when we run the function through it, it would go and it would capitalize each one of the first words. Now there are a number of ways to do this. You could loop over each one of the elements so you could create some kind of starter string. So you could say something like this where it's just creating a string and you start with it just being an empty string and then you go through and you loop through each one of the words and then you pipe it into the string and that would be a valid way of doing it but I want to show you a way that I personally think is a little bit cleaner it's more of a functional approach and so hopefully you'll enjoy going through this one I'm gonna start by creating a function called to capital and this is going to take a string as an argument and it's going to be an arrow function and inside of here the very first thing that I want to do is I want to break up this string into a set of words so the way we can do that is with the split function so I can say const words equals string dot split and I want to split it at each space. So the way you can do that is by saying split and then the argument to split is where you want it split at. So if we wanted it, say this was a CSV file and you wanted it split at each comma, you'd say split with a comma inside of it and then it would break each one of those into its own element. But for right now, I want to split it so that each word is gonna be converted. So now let's see what this looks like. If I call two capital and then I pass it, let's pass it the long string, you can see that we're getting undefined because I need to return this. So here I'll say return words and there you go you can see that we're getting an array of the words and they're all split up the way that we'd want so that's the first step and really we only have one more line of code in order to get this working so instead of returning words what I want to do is return words and I want to map over it so I want to iterate over the collection of words we just created and run a process here. So word takes a function. So I'm gonna make it an arrow function. So I'm gonna say map, and then each time we iterate over, map is going to loop through the words and it's going to give me access to the words one at a time. And then from here, what I wanna do is I want to change how word is processed. So I wanna grab the first element of the word. Now because of the word being a string, what I can do is grab it just like this. So let me show you what this looks like. And you, well, you can see exactly what's getting returned. It's breaking up each one of those items, but let's, let me show you how this can work down here. So if I say short string, and then I grab the very first element from that, you can see it's saying H. So the way that you can parse through strings in JavaScript is very similar to how you would parse through an array. So when I say short string zero, this is grabbing me the very first element. So that is exactly what I'm wanting. So I'm gonna say word dot zero, and then I want to cast this or change it to upper case. So what that's going to do is that is going to grab the first element and then it is going to convert it no matter what it is. If it already is uppercase, it's going to keep it that way. If it is lowercase, it's going to make it uppercase. 
And then from there, I simply want to add on to the rest of the word. So for this very first example, so for the quick round fox, for this one, it's going to loop over the word. So it's gonna give me the. It's going to take the T, it's gonna make that uppercase. So what we need is we need to get access to the H and the E and then combine them. And the way we can do that is with the slice method. So I can say word dot slice and pass in a one. Now, if you've never seen this before, let's take a look at what this is going to do. So if I say, uh, let's just grab some word. Uh, so let's just call it word actually, just to make it nice and easy. And I say slice and pass in one, just like I'm doing here. Then, oh, let's, let me hit. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it till I comment this out. There we go. Uh, it was giving me an error, so it wasn't processing the rest of the file. So here you can see that I am calling the string word and I'm calling slice on it. And then I pass in one and you can see this returns ORD. So slice is a really helpful function when you're working with strings and you want to slice them up. Now by default, if you only pass in one value, what this is gonna do is it's gonna start at whatever index you pass in. So since I'm passing in one, that means that it's gonna start at index one, which is the O, and then it's just gonna return the rest of the string. Now you could also do something like this. You could say one and two, and you can see this is going to bring me back O by itself. It's bringing me the, where it starts, index one, and then where I want it to end, which is index two. If I say one and three, they'll bring OR and so on and so forth. But we simply want it to skip whatever the first letter is and then return that. So the way it's gonna work is if you look at this long string, it's gonna grab the first element of T it's gonna make it uppercase, then slice is gonna give me H and E, and then we're just gonna combine those. So let's uncomment this out and finish out this function. So I'm saying word.slice, let's close it off, and as you can see right here when we're calling this function, this is now working. We can already tell that it's working because each one of these words now has a capital for the very first letter. But we want to also re just return a string, not an array. So from there, just say join, and then we're going to join it with a space. So right up here, we removed the space when we combined it. Here we're adding it, so we're returning a string. And just hit save, and now you can see this is working perfectly. Let me get rid of our little test input here. And now if I call the short string, then you can see hi there is also being capitalized. So in review, that is how you can build a two capital function in JavaScript.